Hi there, we're just going to make a nice quick Blender octopus um, in this very simple tutorial. So um, hopefully you know a little bit about Blender already. We should be introducing the edit mode here when we do this tutorial. So I'm just going to get myself started. So we've got a cube in the middle, we're just going to get rid of that. So you can press the uh, delete, oh hang on, I'll put on my screencast delete key and then um, get rid of that and then we're going to just create ourselves another object. So we're going to start with, um, if we go to add mesh and then we're going to start with a cylinder for the start of our octopus. Now it's got too many um, vertices, I actually need eight. Um, so as soon as you make the cylinder you should see um, some options for its creation comes up on the left hand side in the toolbar and uh, I'm going to just click on that now they, you know, each one of those is going to be a leg. So now that I've got this, um, this is my start shape, I'm going to go into edit mode. So instead of object mode, just click down on object mode and change that to edit mode. And um, all I'm going to do is just go to the scale tool and just scale that down a little bit so that we've got like a thin um, cylinder to start with. Now um, into uh, face select here, I'm going to choose just one of these faces and then I'm going to go up to the uh, top view. So I've chosen one face and this is going to be the first of my legs. So I'm going to jump, um, press the number pad 7 and go into the top view here and um, just zoom in, just zoom in just that little bit. Now I'm going to extrude this face out um, and I'll show you what we're going to do for each of these legs. So if I tap E and then extrude a little bit out and then uh, left click and that should confirm that move. Um, we want to then probably rotate this so it doesn't just all go out straight and then repeat the process with E and then maybe another R and then another E. That will probably do for that face. Um, so, and what we're going to do is just going to go through and do all the rest of them. So I'll go over one more and then I'll pause and let you get on with it. So it's just E on that face and then we tap R and then we tap E again. We might tap R and tap E and then R and then E and I'm going to make it approximately the same uh, approximately the same length. Um, so I'm just going to pause this um, recording and finish the others and I'll show you the rest of the octopus. Um, you continue on and do all eight legs. So I've managed to <coughs> finish off all those uh, eight legs and now we're just going to do the head. So um, I'm just going to go back into this top view now. Mines are all flat. If you um, managed to uh, to stay in the top view um, at when you tap the R button then you shouldn't have any problems with the uh, the legs staying in a, a single plane. If you for example was to um, extrude again and rotate but you forgot to go into the into the um, plane you would see that the the, uh, that you do get a weird looking um, leg and, and don't worry about it, it's not the biggest um, problem in the world if you have got that, it'll still look cool. Um, so we're just going to work on this shape now. I'm going to try and get that bell shape for the octopus, for the classic cartoon octopus kind of shape. So I'm in still in face select mode and I'm going to tap E um, again and so I've extruded out that face. Now I'm going to do this one more time. Scale, and that allows me to pull um, to to scale that whole selected face um, bigger. So it just it uniformly uh, makes that thing bigger. So I'm just going to do this another one more time, and then another one. And this time I'm going to shrink it down, and one more time shrunk right down for the top. Um, I could join those all the way up if I really wanted to. Um, so there's my octopus. Um, if we go into object mode. <clears throat> I'm going to see that um, it still looks um, really bad. It still looks like it's um, made up of cubes and and what it kind of is. Um, you can improve the shading just a little bit by on the left hand side. In your tools menu you can click smooth and it does improve it slightly where it smooths out the rounded bits but we still see it's still not exactly a, a high polygon model. Um, so I'm going to show you just how to um, add a a modifier. Um, so if your window has got uh, some hidden buttons, so if it's out like this, you need to pull it out a little bit and then go up to the spanner, uh, the blue spanner in the 
in the uh, menu over here. Um, this is the modifiers panel. I have still got the subject selected, so this is going to apply a modifier to this object. I'm just going to click add modifier and go down to the subdivision surface that's near the bottom of the second uh, generate submenu. Um, if you click on this, you'll see all of a sudden you get a, a smoothed out looking octopus, and uh, without too much effort and without too many polygons, you get a cool looking effect. Um, the cool thing about subdivision surface is that you can still edit the top level mesh um, and add and change any of these bits and pieces that you want but you will um, with an object mode you'll see that the uh, it has been smoothed out and it looks like it's got a lot more vertices and edges and faces to make up um, that's basically it that's your octopus menu um, your challenge um, now is to uh, maybe change uh, maybe add some eyes to it, or, or put on a bowler hat on this octopus, um, or give it a big uh, a mouth smile. Um, just use the object menu, um, add some meshes, and see if you can edit those meshes to make up the shapes that you would like. And that's it.